It's open. That was awesome. Thanks for saving our asses, amigos. We owe you. Big time. I'm Hopi, and that's my wife, McGee, back there at the bench. We ain't accustomed to being damsels in distress, but when Big Betty broke down, we had to fall back to a pipe wrench, and I'll be honest, it just wasn't cutting it. Now that was McGee's wedding gift to me. I always wanted a hot rod, and now I've got one. Of course, we're having some trouble fixing that, too. Engines completely rusted out. We were gonna go into the graveyard and see if we could find a replacement, but that's kind of out of the question now. We call him Jaime. Well, it ain't my real name, but that's what folks call me. 100% full-blooded Hopi Indian. Yep. Her and me went to the Temple of Titan and asked those crazy priests to marry us. I figured the best place to get hitched to a bombshell like Mags was in a place where they worship an atomic bomb. <laughs> her real name's Bernice McGee, but I call her McGee because, well, who the hell would want to be called Bernice? Around the garage, she's in charge of engine repair, electronics, etc. I take care of paint, bodywork, and upholstery. Our machine gun. She was running just fine when this robot riot got started. But she jammed, and her trigger mechanism went bluey. McGee's trying to kitbash a fix, but we really need parts. Say, you folks wouldn't happen to have a spare gun we could strip. Anything with a trigger. McGee can jigger the bits to fit. Started a couple of days ago. No idea what the story is, but all of a sudden, Robots started pouring out of the airplane graveyard and attacking everybody in town. Mass murderer or not, I gotta hand it to whoever's getting the fuckers up and running. McGee and I pulled old Jaime out of the graveyard two years ago, and we still can't make him go. Our local beauty spot. An abandoned airport, I guess. People come from all around to scavenge for metal and parts. There were dead robots lying all over the place out there. Now, they just woke up. He was my wedding gift to McGee. She always wanted a robot, so I dragged him out of the graveyard and brought him home. Still can't get him running, though. Some problem with his brain, we think. McGee knows mechanics. I know metalwork. Neither of us knows computers, so we were kind of shit out of luck. Tell you what, you get him running, you can keep him. After the robot attacks, we're not so hot on him anymore. Kinda of afraid he's gonna wake up and kill us in our sleep. I've got a couple of things. Anything else, Rangers?
Thanks again for the save. And good luck out there. Stupid gun? What's wrong with her? and hope you take out those robots. If you hadn't have shown up, we would have been reduced to throwing wrenches at him. If you need any repairs, you got it. No charge. We owe you for the rescue. Big Betty, our machine gun. She's worked fine for years, but of course, just when we need her most, her trigger assembly goes to hell. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a gun you'd be willing to trade for. Any gun would do. I just need something with a working trigger. She's my husband. Hard on the outside, soft and sweet on the inside. Kind of the opposite of me. No idea. All of a sudden, they just started coming out of the airplane graveyard and attacking everybody. It's like somebody flipped a switch. Makes me afraid old Jaime back there is gonna wake up. It's an old military airstrip to the north of here, filled with junked planes and dead robots. At least, they were dead. Excellent! Oh, yes! That great, great, one second. There we go. All yours. Go on and introduce her to those damn robots. Come on back if anything needs fixing. <laughs> 